Hi there. In this video lesson, I am going to show you how to connect an industrial Ethernet card to Siemens Simatic S7300 CPU and start programming using its Ethernet port. During the video, we will also learn how to define and use clock memory bits. Okay, so far you are familiarized with the hardware configuration of my CPU and signal modules. My CPU itself does not have an Ethernet port and it cannot be directly connected to an industrial Ethernet network. But by adding a network card that has an Ethernet port, I can upload or download programs to my CPU through the Ethernet network. In this video, I show you how to change the IP address of a network card and transfer hardware information or program blocks to the CPU using the Sematic Manager software. Okay, first let me configure my PLC hardware in Sematic Manager. Well, I have already configured my CPU and signal modules similar to the previous videos. Please note that in this video I have installed a network card that has an Ethernet port between my CPU and the signal modules and now I only need to find the model of my network module from the Sematic Manager library and add it to my project. By adding the network module to the configuration window, its setting window will open automatically. My network module has an Ethernet port and here I can change its IP address. The important point in any computer network is that the address of each device must be different from the other addresses. Well, if I double click on the network card, I can see its specification or change its settings such as its name or IP address. Please note that I selected this IP address for my Ethernet card, but I have not yet transferred it to the card. Now let me check the IP address of my computer. As I mentioned earlier, it should have a different address. Well, in this window, I can change the settings such as the address of my computer in networks. Although, I can choose my desired network from its name, but to be more sure of the correct selection, let's remove the Ethernet cable from my computer port and connect it again. Now like me, you can define the IP address of your computer or change it. Pay attention that we will need this name in the Sematic Manager software to modify its connection method. Now let's open Sematic Manager and open the Set PG PC interface window. Up until now, I was connecting to my PLC through its MPI port. Now I need to select the Ethernet port of my computer. Now let's open the PLC menu and click on the Edit Ethernet Node option. In this window, 
by clicking on the browse item you can view the devices which are connected to my computer as you can see a device is connected to my computer it's my network card which is installed between my CPU and signal modules this is its MAC address note that I have already used this network card and assign this IP address for another project. Probably you want to use a network card for the first time with its factory settings. So let me reset my network card to its factory settings. OK, let's click on the browse option again. As you can see, Semantic Manager has recognized my network card, but it does not have any IP address. Now I want to transfer the information related to my PLC hardware configuration via the network card. Here I can see the new address that I have defined for my network card in Semantic Manager and by clicking on the view option I can see the equipment which is connected to my computer. As you can see again, my network card has no IP address. By clicking on the OK button this IP address will be assigned to the network card and also the configuration information will be transferred to the CPU. Now let's open the CMD environment to check if the new IP address is assigned to my network card or not. Here I am going to use the ping command to check the connection between my computer and two different IP addresses. The first IP address is incorrect and the second one is the IP address of my network card which is 198.0. 168.0.21 Note that this is my computer's IP address. Very well, I have connected the network card to my computer and also I tested the connection using the ping command. Now I can start the programming step. In this video, I want to write a program that uses a byte of memory as the clock memory. So first let's open the CPU setting window. Now let's select the cycle clock memory tab and then activate the clock memory option. By default, the first byte of memory or MB0 is selected to be used as the clock memory byte. Naturally, I need to transfer the new configuration setting to my PLC. As you can see, at this time the identified equipment has an IP address. Now let's open the OB1 block for writing my program. Note that I have selected byte 0 of memory as the clock memory. 
If you search in the help window, you will see that each bit of the clock memory turns on and off at a specific frequency. In my program, I want to use bits 3, 5, and 7 of the clock memory byte M0.3, M0.5, and M0.7 to turn the three digital outputs on or off with these frequencies. Okay, I wrote my program. Now let's transfer the whole project to my PLC, which includes hardware, configuration, and program blocks. As you can see, and according to the program, if I activate the first input, I0.0, .0, the three selected outputs will start turning on and off with different frequencies. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new from it.